Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me at Conf42. Today we are going to learn about dynamic user interfaces, harnessing AI and machine learning for personalized emotion aware experience. Picture this. You are about to watch a movie and your TV already knows what you are in the mood for or you are playing a game and adjust the difficulty because it can tell you are getting frustrated. Sounds like magic, right? It's all thanks to AI and machine learning. Today we are diving into how these technologies are transforming our interactions with devices, making them more personalized and even more emotional aware. Ready to see the future? Let's go. So, what's on our magical mystery to today? We'll start with a quick history lesson on user interfaces, then see how AI is making them super smart. We'll check out some emotional aware tech that's straight out of sci-fi dive into cool real world examples peek into the future and wrap up with some important ethical stuff buckle up the evolution of user interfaces first stop the past remember the days of command line interfaces it was like speaking another language just to use a computer then came graphical user interfaces with windows and icons much better mobile and touch interfaces made everything super intuitive just tap and swipe and now we have voice assistants like Siri and Alexa and mind blowing AR and VR experiences you all must have heard about the Apple Vision Pro and Meta's Quest so you know what i'm talking about the evolution of user interfaces has been a wild ride the role of AI in user interfaces let's talk about how AI is shaking things up personalization is the name of the game AI learns what you like and gives you more of it. Ever wonder how Netflix knows you so well? Like you are streaming a couple of uh, Marvel movies or maybe some science fiction drama. And then a week later, when you open up Netflix on a Saturday night, all you're looking at is a lot of content that is tailored fit for you. That's AI at work. Emotion aware systems take it up a notch by reading your emotions. Yep. Your devices can now sense if you're happy, sad, or even frustrated. And adaptive interfaces change in real time based on what you're doing. It's like having a digital buddy who just gets you. Let's talk about Apple's dynamic interface. This isn't completely new and has existed in limited forms for a long time. Technically, the battery meter on your smartphone is a type of dynamic UI. It will change color as you process through it. These types of use cases are obvious, but what we are seeing now are more interesting and nuanced ways to leverage dynamic UI. The best example is Apple's latest iPhone. You all must have heard of Dynamic Island, uh, which is the notch that has moved down on the interface and now has interactive elements playing around it. And it also has cool features, a lot of cool features. So Apple is great at doing this. Mac OS has adaptive dark and light modes based on time. iOS 16 started to do this with lock screens. They leverage modes of focus to then show you custom lock screens, wallpaper, widgets, and more. Now these lock screens are mainly manual and can be engineered through automation. For example, iOS can turn a mode on based on a location that you have, but that needs to be set up by you in the first instance. You can use Apple's shortcuts and uh, a couple of other features to do this. Customizability has always been a push for a digital product and one hypothesis here is that even Apple, who st steered towards strict design in, with their products, are now bowing down to Gen Z's driven demand. Ways to leverage dynamic UI. The cool thing about this is the number of use cases one could have for mobile and wearable devices. These things track all sorts of measurements, the Apple Watch being a great example. These things are just the health trackers. Example, they have features like temperature sensing, sleep tracking, ECG, health notifications for your heart and blood oxygen. Outside of wearables, there's plenty that digital products can do to leverage dynamic UIs. Adapt core functionality as this will be used the most and tailoring to specific circumstances can be very helpful. Tracking different data points to bring more specific information to light at key moments create intuitive changes like location and time, manual customizations when you have a large amount of super users so they can control their usage too. Imagine logging into your favorite app and seeing everything tailored just for you. That's the magic of personalization. 
AI analyzes your habits and preferences, giving you the perfect content. It's like having a personal assistant who knows exactly what you want. Netflix's movie recommendations or Amazon's product suggestions, they're spot on because AI is behind the scenes, making sure you're happy. Now let's get emotional. We'll talk about emotional aware systems. Literally, emotional aware systems use AI to understand your feelings. Facial recognition can tell if you're happy or sad. Voice analysis picks up on your mood from your tone and text analysis figures out your feelings from what you type. These systems make interactions so much more engaging and human-like. Imagine a game that eases up when you are frustrated or a customer service bot that's genuinely empathetic when you're upset. So let's talk about the benefits of these emotional aware systems. Why do we want our tech to understand our emotions? Has anybody ever asked this question? That's because it makes everything better. More engaging interactions, higher satisfaction, and greater loyalty. When your tech knows how you feel, it can respond in ways that makes you feel valued and understood. It's like having a super attentive friend who's always there for you. So what are the AI models that can help understand and personalize your interfaces and uh, also show emotional awareness? Let's talk about AI models for personalization and emotional awareness. Here's the geek part. The AI models behind all is magic. Supervised learning uses labeled data to make predictions. Unsupervised learning finds hidden patterns in data without labels. And the reinforcement learning is all about learning from experiences like training a dog with treats. These models help AI understand and respond to our preferences and emotions, making our interactions seamless and intuitive. Integration of AI and ML in UIs. Let's break down how the, all of this works. First, we collect tons of data from user interactions, clicks, browsing history, you name it. Then we train AI models to predict your preferences and emotions. Real-time adoption is where the magic happens. The interfaces change based on what you're doing right now. And of course, we need powerful computers to handle all of this processing and we have to keep your data safe and private. It's a complex but fascinating process. Let's go through a few case studies to understand how personalization and emotional awareness works. So case study one, personalized learning platforms. Let's see this in action with personalized learning platforms. These AI-driven systems customize educational content for each student. They analyze learning history and suggest the best materials. For example, at the Southern Nevada Urban Micro Academy, AI recommends lessons tailored to each student's needs. And during the pandemic, platforms like Prenda helped students learn at their own pace, leading to better engagement and performance. AI makes learning fun and effective. So what happened to the results? Studies and real-world applications have shown that these platforms significantly improve learning outcomes. For instance, schools using AI-driven platforms reported higher engagement levels and better completion rates among students. Let's go to, let's go to case study two. Let's go to case study two, emotion-aware gaming. Emotion-aware gaming involves integrating AI to detect and respond to the emotional status of players creating a more immersive and engaging gaming experience. By understanding a player's emotions, games can adapt in real time to enhance enjoyment and maintain engagement. Are there any gamers here? This one's for you. Emotional aware gaming uses AI to detect your feelings and adjust the games accordingly. Facial recognition and voice analysis gouge your emotions and the game adapts, lowering difficulty if you're frustrated or ramping up the challenge if you're bored. This dynamic adaption keeps you engaged and makes gaming even more immersive and enjoyable. It's like having a game that's always in sync with your mood. Looking ahead, the future is bright and super exciting. AR and VR are already giving us immersive experiences, but we are just scratching the surface. Brain-computer interfaces are next, allowing us to control devices with our thoughts. How cool is that? Future interfaces will be more natural and intuitive, with voice and gesture recognition, making tech feel like a natural expansion of ourselves and multimodal interfaces will blend voice, touch, and gestures for seamless interactions. Looking ahead, the future is bright and super exciting. AR and VR are already giving us immersive experiences, but we are just scratching the surface. Brain-computer interfaces are next, allowing us to control devices with our thoughts. How cool is that? Future interfaces will be more natural and intuitive, 
width, vision and gesture recognition making tech feel like a natural expansion of ourselves. And multimodal interfaces will blend voice, touch and gestures for seamless interactions. You can already see there's a new company that has just come out called human.ai which tried a similar experience for users. They launched an AI product that is that has no screens, no digital touch interface, and all is done through your audio, your voice. They just capture the device just captures what's in front of you and recognizes what you're doing or what you're looking at. It'll just understand and explain you what it means. Let's talk about a couple of ethical considerations. With great power comes great responsibility. As we innovate, we must address ethical issues. Data privacy and security are top priorities. We need transparency in how AI makes decisions and accountability for those decisions. And we must prevent biases to ensure fairness in AI applications. Clear communication and informed consent are essential to maintaining trust and integrity. As we continue to innovate, let's ensure our advancements are inclusive, fair, and sustainable. Together, we can create a digital world that not only meets our needs, but also makes us feel understood and valued. All right, let's wrap this up with a fun challenge. Imagine the possibilities. What new dynamic UI would you create with AI and ML? Maybe a virtual shopping assistant that knows your style or a learning platform that evolves with your interests. The sky's the limit. As we move forward, let's make sure our innovations are inclusive, fair, and sustainable. Together, we can create a digital world that not only meets our needs, but also makes us feel truly understood and valued. This is Yashwant Kotha, and thanks for watching.